So in this video what we are going to do that crowds method we are going to find out the solution for the given equations. So e three equations are given in which the unknown variables are nothing but x, y and z for which we have to find the values of we have to find the values of what x, y and z. Now the first step is to form the A matrix, X matrix and B matrix and before that forming the matrix remember that the variables should be in proper order. Order in the sense the first unknown is X, second Y and Z. So all the equations should have in the same order so that you can avoid this confusion. Okay, while writing the matrix it should be in proper order. Then second thing is that the constant B1, B2, B3 always should be on the right hand side of the equation that means RHS on the RHS it should be there the B1, B2, B3 values now we can go for the A matrix, B matrix as well as X matrix so the A matrix will be having what the constants coefficients you have to write so 2 first equation will have 2, 1, 4 next will have 8, minus 3, 2 third equation 4 11 minus 1 so this is the matrix we have got this will be 3 cross 3 ok 3 equations are there so 3 cross 3 now B matrix what will be B matrix B matrix is nothing but a column matrix ok which is we having B1 B2 B3 now here the constants are 12 20 33 that is also done what about X matrix X matrix will be having again the column matrix here the values will be X Y Z because the unknown variables given in the question is X Y Z ok so this is 3 cross 1 3 rows 1 column this is also 3 cross 1 3 rows 1 column now we have to go for the next step by seeing crowds method what happens in Toleski's method we have discussed that the lower triangular matrix see diagonal elements we didn't change there lower triang lower triangular matrix the diagonal elements we had to change it to what one but in crowds method what happens upper triangular matrix the diagonal elements will become one so the second step what we are going to do we are going to form a is equal to lu so what is a matrix a matrix is nothing but again the same thing we are going to write right so we can just copy paste it now A matrix is equal to what L matrix so L matrix be careful with that one what you have to do lower triangular matrix is basically what the upper tri upper diagonal elements will be above the diagonal elements will be 0 so the equation becomes L11 0 0 L21 L22 0 L31 L32 L33. In the Stoleski's method, we have seen that the diagonal elements there was what 1, 1, 1. But here it is L11, L22, L33. We have to consider the diagonal elements. We cannot write it as 1 in Crowd's method. What about U matrix? U matrix will be the upper triangular matrix. So it will be 1, U12, U13, then 0. 0 0 so u 2 2 will be changed it to what we have to change it to 1 1 1 u 2 3 done so this will be the matrix so you can see over here what happens that the diagonal elements will be what 1 1 1 the lower diagonal elements the below the diagonal elements becomes what 0 0 0 and in lower triangular matrix the upper part of the diagonal elements will become 0 0 0 next what is the next step we are going to do we are going to multiply these two and we have to find the unknowns unknowns in the sense l11 l22 l32 using what a is equal to lu so here what we are going to do we are going to multiply a is equal to lu so okay so here the first method is basically you multiply these two l and u and write it in a form then afterwards you can compare it with a then form the equation otherwise we can go directly by forming the equation simple method what you have to do I will tell you the step 
so l matrix first row has to be multiplied with the column i hope you know multi matrix multiplication so the first row has to be multiplied with the first column you will get some value again first row has to be multiplied with second column next first row has to be multiplied with third column so there will be three equations so first we'll write that equation so starting with the first row multiplication with the first column so it will be l11 into 1 plus 0 into 0 right i hope you know this thing that l11 should be multiplied with 1 0 with 0 0 with 0 then add them up okay so it will be equal to what equal to this matrix in this matrix which element you should choose see here first row we multiply with first column right first row multiplied with first row multiplied with first column so same thing you have to take it here first row multiplied with first column which element is there 2 so that you have to write here so which is equal to 2 that implies what l11 value will become next what you have to do l again the first row into second column so first row into second column which element will come 2 okay so in equal to 2 uh, sorry equal to 1 will come so l11 into u12 plus 0 into 1 plus 0 into 0 is anyways this thing so equal to 1 from this we can write l11 value we know that is 2 so 2 into u12 is equal to 1 so what is the value of u12 u12 will become 1 by 2 okay next the third equation this row has to be multiplied with this column third column so again this row has to be multiplied with this column so which element is common 4 is common so it will be l11 into u13 plus 0 into u23 plus 0 into 1 is equal to 4 so that means so this part is gone this part is 0 so we are left with this part only so from this l11 value we already know which is 2 into u13 is equal to 4 that implies u13 value will be equal to 4 by 2 which is 2 so we got u13 value also now what we can do we can go for the next set of equations which is nothing but so second row has to be multiplied with again first column second column third column again three equations will be formed okay so that we will be doing so what will be the set of equation which will be equal it will be equal to this set of rows right this set of rows elements so we'll see that so the second row has to be multiplied with the first column so we'll multiply that so l21 into 1 plus l22 into 0 plus 0 into 0 no need to write equal to which element we have to write see second row we have multiplied with the first column so which element is there the 8 8 so it is equal to 8 so that implies what what is the value of l21 we don't know what is the value of l22 this is cancelled so l21 value is equal to 8 next we have to multiply the second row with the second column okay and it will be equal to what second row second column it will be equal to minus 3 so it will be l21 into u12 plus l22 into u no 1 uh, plus 0 into 0 no need to write equal to each element minus 3 so l21 value we know 8 just we found out into u12 value we already know which is 1 by 2 right plus l22 is equal to minus 3 so from this we can find the value of l22 l22 this get cancel 4 so l22 is equal to minus 3 minus 4 which is minus 7 so l22 value also we got now the last set of equation we are having the second row multiplied with the third column so second row multiplied with third column which element will be there 2 so second row into third column l21 into u13 plus l22 into u23 
two three plus zero into one. Okay, that is zero only. No need to write that also. Equal to which element two? So L two one value already we have. We can directly write which is eight into U one three value we already have two. L two two value we have just now found out minus seven. Then U two three value we don't have. This is anyway zero. So we have to find U two three value which is equal to what two. So from this, what happens? A two is a sixteen. Sixteen minus seven U two three is equal to two. Sixteen will will go that side. So U two three value will become two minus sixteen by minus seven, right? So it is minus fourteen by minus seven, which is equal to what? Two. So U two three value also we got it as two. Next, what we are going to do? Next, three equation will be forming using third row, first column, second column, third column. Three equations again you will get. Okay, and corresponding elements will be these three. Okay, so first equation, third row, first column. So which element? Third row, first column. Which element will be the four? L three one into one. Plus L three two into zero plus L three three into zero is equal to what four? This is zero. This is also zero. So L three L three one value will become what four? Okay. Next equation. This third row into second column. So third row into second column will be what? Which element will come? Eleven. Okay. So L three one into U one two plus L three two into one plus L three three into zero is equal to eleven. So from this, what we are going to get? L three one value we already got it just now. Four L U one two value we know one by two plus U three two L three two value we don't know. So write it as it is. This is anyway zero equal to eleven. So what will happen? Two two cancel. So two will go that side. So L three two value will become nine. The last equation is left out, which is nothing but the third row into the third column. So third row into the third column. So which element minus one? So L three one into U one three plus L three two into U two three plus L three three into one is equal to minus one. So in this L three one value we know four into U one three value we know two plus L three two just now found out nine into U two three value is nothing but two plus L three one is equal to minus one. So from this eight plus eighteen plus L three three is equal to minus one. That implies L three three is equal to minus one minus eighteen minus eight. Which will be equal to minus twenty seven. Next, what we have to do is that we have got L U matrix. Okay, we have found the values. Now, next step is to find the L V is equal to B, in which V we are going to find. Okay, using that you will find out what X values, X Y Z values. So we will see. So L matrix is nothing but two zero zero eight. Minus seven zero four nine minus twenty seven. This matrix has to be multiplied with V one, V two, V three, and it is equal to B matrix, which is nothing but twelve, twenty, thirty three. Okay. Next step. So multiplication. What will happen? Simple multiplication. This is three cross three, and this is three cross one, and this is three cross one. So multiplication of these two will be what? Which or what is what will be the order of this matrix? See here. Multiplication properties you should understand that this one and this one should be same. Three three same. Okay. So what will be the answer? Three cross one. Okay. So three rows one column will be there. So multiplication. So this first row into one column is only there. So two v one plus zero into v two no need to write plus zero into v three no need to write which is equal to which element? Twelve. Next. This is the first equation we have got. Next, second row into this column. So eight v one minus seven v two plus zero v three is equal to twenty. The second element. This is the second equation. Third equation. Four v one 
प्लस नाइन वी टू माइनस ट्वेंटी सेवन वी थ्री इज इक्वल टू दर्ड एलिमेंट थर्टी थ्री ओके सो यू कैन सी ओवर हियर दैट दी फर्स्ट इक्वेशन इफ यू टेक वी कैन डायरेक्टली गेट दी वैल्यूज हाउ विल गेट दी वैल्यूज सो वी वन इज इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व बाई टू विच इज इक्वल टू सिक्स एंड सेकेंड इक्वेशन इफ यू टेक यूर बी गेटिंग एट इंटू वी वन वॉट इज दी वन वैल्यू जस्ट नाउ वी गॉट सिक्स माइनस सेवन इंटू वी टू एंड जीरो वी थ्री नॉन टू कंसिडर इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी सो एट सिक्स ऑफ फोर्टी एट सो वी टू वैल्यू विल बी इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी माइनस फोर्टी एट डिवाइडेड बाई माइनस सेवन विच विल बी इक्वल टू हाउ मच ट्वेंटी डिवाइडेड बाई फोर्टी एट सो ट्वेंटी माइनस फोर्टी एट इज माइनस ट्वेंटी एट माइनस ट्वेंटी एट बाई माइनस सेवन इज फोर नेक्स्ट फ्रॉम दिस इक्वेशन हाउ विल बी गेट सो फोर वी वन v1 value is again 6 plus 9 v2 v2 value is 4 minus 27 v3 is equal to 33 24 is equal plus 36 minus 27 v2 v3 is equal to 33 so v3 value will be equal to 33 minus 24 minus 36 divided by minus 27 so what will be the answer Minus twenty-seven divided by minus twenty-seven, which is equal to one. Okay, so we have got the value of V three also. Now what we have to do? So we have got the matrix V one, V two, V three, which is nothing but V one value is six, V two is four, and V three is one. U x is equal to what V? So here. So what is the value of u? U matrix we have to write first, which is one, one by two, two, zero, one, two, zero, zero, one, multiplied with x matrix, which is x, y, z, is equal to v matrix. Just now we found out four, six, four, one. Okay. Now simple. We have to do the again the multiplication. So first row multiplied with this column equal to this element. So x plus half y plus two z is equal to six. First equation zero x. No need to write. Okay, I'll write just for zero x plus one y plus two z is equal to four. Zero x plus zero y plus one z is equal to one. So, which equation will be suitable for you to find out? So simple that we can directly from the third equation we can directly find because this and this is gone. So z is equal to what one? So z value we got it as what one? Done this part, okay? Next, this z value if you substitute in this one you will get y value. So from this I can write y plus two into z. Z value is one. So two equal to four. So y value will become four minus two, which is two. Next, x value. What will happen? Substitute x z and y value. You will get x value. So x plus half y value is two plus two into z value is one equal to six. So this and this is gone. So one is left out. Two plus one is three. So x value is six minus three, which x value will become three. So our final solution will be what? X equal to three, y is equal to two, z is equal to one. So we have taken the same problem in Cholesky's also, right? Cholesky method. Here we have done using Crowd's method. Now you have to tell that what is the similarity you can find in the answers. That is the main question, right? What is the similarity? So try to find out that also.